Hello there for humans and welcome to this video and today I want to talk about artillery in the world of tanks blitz because you know the topic comes up here and there again and uh, I guess you just gotta put it to the grave sometime because I don't think it's, it's been talked about a lot. Obviously the, f the one thing before I go more into detail in this video is to every one of you that does support artillery coming into world of tanks blitz I have a mission for you. Find me one world of tanks PC player who enjoys playing against artillery against now with that out of the way obviously you have the main points in blitz of the maps being too small and the battles being too short so it's not gonna work anyway but let me just show you if all those factors would be out of the way and you would have better, bigger maps and longer battle times that artillery still wouldn't work and you would still be a pain in the ass and for that let's go over to world of tanks pc now uh i'm here on my world of tanks pc account and uh, as you can see, I have a quite a lot of tanks, and I also have some artillery right here. For example, the American T-10 T-92 HMC. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Um, in this game, artillery wait time is longer, and that is good. It should be even longer, to be honest. As you can see, there's a lot of SPGs in the queue, which is still too many. It should be about 10 rather than 60. But here's the thing. Everyone that wants to have artillery just wants to play it. You never think about having to play against it. That's the problem here. You know, I could show you tons of clips right now of me getting completely destroyed by artillery while playing in a good position in this game. But that's not what most of the people actually care about. They just want to play artillery in Blitz. But they never think about the other side. Which is obviously... You have to play against it as well. Is that fun? Is it fun sitting in one of the best positions on the map? Like, for example, this is mine. There's, the map's in Blitz as well. It's just a lot smaller. Um, is it fun if you sit in this position up there on the hill? Is it fun that while holding that position you get shot at from the air, you can do nothing about it, and the only thing to counter it is basically you can go camp. Which, you know, artillery is supposed to prevent camping but it actually just doesn't so because it, it more like encourages camping because obviously if you're playing against the artillery then the tanks that are more at the front line are more likely to be shot at so if you camp at the back the already probably isn't going to shoot you that much so it actually encourages camping so it would make especially blitz where it's a seven people game you'll have well one one artillery maximum because if you would have two that would simply be stupid right and we just wouldn't work anyway even if you had the bigger maps and stuff like that which is just not gonna happen um, and another problem you can see right here especially with this tank in particular it's a 240 millimeter gun it's the biggest gun in the game um, it is has a reload of over 40 seconds like yeah is that E50M having fun right now is he having a good time he's being stunned which means that all this tank's capabilities, mobility, uh, view range, reload is reduced by 30% for the time that he's stunned, unless he uses a medkit. Is he having fun right now, getting shot for 500 damage without being to retaliate, being able to retaliate at all? I don't think so, right? So, to anyone having the argument that artillery would be good, artillery, I mean, obviously, it's 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 not the smart people. Obviously, if you if you're smart, you know that, but. This is not for you. Thank you for being smart already. But the thing is, if you are thinking of, if you think that artillery is a good idea in World of Tank Blitz, you are ignorant and dumb. It's quite simple because you don't know how it works. You don't know how painful it is to play against it, and you don't know how bad it would actually be. The main reason I don't play this game more is because of artillery. Like, for example, that Sheridan. I didn't even hit him. It's 280 damage. Like that, and I stunned. So, yeah. Anyway. Let's keep going here. Uh, it's a 3-0. We're down on HP, though. And the other problem is what you have with artillery. You take away a vital component from the game. If you have here three artilleries, it's essentially a 12 versus 12. With three orbital cannons that are going to die. Okay, I'm being counter sniped here by the enemy T92. Where is he? He's probably somewhere here. Um, okay. I'm gonna move now, obviously. 
Have I been spotted by the EBR? I don't know. But that's the thing. The, the only, the only uh, uh, tank that can counter on artillery is enemy artillery, and obviously he's shooting premium HE. Um, yeah. Uh, we, we the gamers, anyway. Um, and that's the problem. You can't counter artillery. All you can do to counter it is either to tell your already where it is after you've been shot, or you just hide in the corner and do nothing. Otherwise, there's not much you can do about it. Sure, there is a certain amount of sp safe spots that you can play, like, for example, where this mouse is right now, but as soon as you leave those spots, you can still be hit. Which, you know, is not really very, very interesting gameplay if you just have to hide in, in a few certain spots and then you can't really move. Um... I've heard a lack of better targets, I'm gonna just try to hold this mouse. And let's see, the thing is here, I'm being very, very ineffective because, like, I can't do much here. I'm kind of in... Uh, yeah, there we go. I stunned my teammate, but that's kind of unfortunate. They had to go for it, and um, hopefully the 277 survives. So yeah, the thing is, I'm just being not very, very effective here. I've done a thousand damage, and in general, artillery just doesn't very contribute a lot to the game. It doesn't contribute anything for the rest of the team it only contributes something for me is that I can click uh, click on tanks while m using my other hand for certain other things you know so yeah the argument for artillery is stupid there is nothing to it there's no sense ever to that you know like, look at that I didn't even hit him and the thing is even if you tweak artillery for blitz you know where he you give it more damage, you make it better for, for smaller maps, it's still not gonna work. You would have to make bigger maps, you would have to completely change how the game works. To then uh, put in a system which is only negative. Like, what good things are there about artillery? Tell me one thing in the comments. What is good about artillery? What is actually good about artillery? You know, not just for the artillery player, because obviously I can just sit here and click, uh, which is I mean, I guess nice for me, but what is good for the overall game by having artillery in it? You know, what? what is good about that? There's nothing. Um, okay, well, uh, it's 8-8. We're, we're losing, though, kind of. I'm, I'm hoping that the uh, HP bar at the top is faulty because it only displays within the um, range thing, but I don't think it is because they're quite healthy. So now here comes the final part, the artillery. It's very, very useless at the end of a game, because once one team uh, takes over the game and is going ha has an advantage, as an artillery player, there is nothing you can really do about that unless you're in a left affair and you're completely overpowered. Which is only because it's a premium, and yeah, that was a mistake. Um, yeah, l let me not get into the concept of premium artillery, because then we're gonna get into a... The amount of swear words that would not be very beneficial for a YouTube video. Okay, now I'm gonna hold Sheridan here. Come on. Nope, he missed. And that's what I'm saying here. I'm basically useless at this point in time. I'm just gonna get pushed and I'm going to die. I have nothing to contribute to the team. And that's the same with the other artilleries as well. The best I can now do is hide in the corner and maybe try to get one more lucky shot. So, yeah. That's about artillery for you. And uh, it's bad in World Tanks PC. It doesn't work in this game. It's a very, very bad mechanic. And uh, for Blitz, it will be even worse. Because even if you rebalance it, even if you change it somehow, you are never going to make it good. Just like the missiles. If something is not counterable in the game, it is bad. It's quite simple. If you can't counter it, one-on-one. -on -one, then it's a bad mechanic. And that is what already is. I can't even hit the Sheridan because I don't have enough gun depression to actually hit him. Um, so yeah, that's a good old classic already battle right there. Um, just wanted to show you and uh, hope you learned something as well. And if at the beginning of the video you already thought that artillery um, is bad, then well, congratulations. You now know more, I guess. You know how bad it actually is, you know? Four blitz, let's sum up again. Four blitz, you have the, first of all, you have the general problems. Maps are too small, battles are too short. So you would have to significantly rebalance and redo the maps. Then, even if you were to do that, what you have to find a way to make them effective. Because in World Tanks PC, they're not effective, they're annoying. And that's the thing. Why would you want to change the game so radically just to 
introduce something that is just annoying, that brings nothing to the game, rather than, you know, people being able to touch themselves while playing, which, you know, isn't that good of a mechanic anyway. Um, but it only brings annoyance, it doesn't bring any tactical things, because rather it takes away uh, tactical options, because you can't take aggressive positions, you can't play like that anymore, because obviously if you're playing a good spot, if you're playing hull down in a Kronvang, something like that, the already is going to shoot you, it is going to focus you, and there's nothing you can do about that. So it would make the game substantially worse than it already is. And with that hope of disappointment that artillery is, and that people are that believe artillery is good, um, then, well, if you still believe artillery is good, find me that one player. Find me that one World of Tanks PC player that likes playing against artillery. Find me that one. Find and make it one that is actually sane in the head. Not one that's already been damaged beyond repair by having to play against artillery all the time. Thank you very much for watching. See you for the next one. Goodbye.